Now let's talk about ball heads or other types of heads. The same advice that I gave for tripods goes for buying a ball head. Don't buy three or four cheap ones and then finally have to buy one good one. I, I already did that and they, they sit in the closet. I only use Swiss Arca quick release style clamps and I have nothing to do with but, but I've had lots of trouble with the various Manfrotto quick release plates and grips. The trouble is with them that they fail. I ha have a whole box of them that I can't get rid of. So just go out and buy yourself a really right stuff ball head, either a BH40 or preferably BH55 or equivalent brand in, in some other uh, maker. And just be done with it. You'll never regret it. It will help your photography so much. And also they have good resale value if you decide photography is not your thing. Now one, one other thing, I, I, I seriously suggest that you, I'm talking now about quick release Arca style clamps, only get the screw knob quick release clamp and never the leverage release clamp. I've never had the screw knob screw up or fail as long as I put it on tight. And the lever release, so I'm told by others, it hasn't happened to me because I don't use them, they, you can catch your cuff on one or something and possibly have what's called the dreaded operator error where you cause your own thing to come undone and your camera and stuff falls on the ground. There are many reports of this happening so just get a screw screw knob style and then it takes time to unscrew it but it's actually a good thing you know that's what I think. Um, now I've tried all kinds of tripod heads mostly of the ball type. I have used some when I was really going for lightweight of the Markins. Markins has a Q-Ball or a Q3. Ultimately it's just not strong enough but it's a nice little uh, ball head for the money. I've also used the Acrotech, a couple of them including the Ultimate. Works well but ultimately I didn't like it. But uh, the ones I like the most again are really right stuff BH40 and BH55 especially the 55. The really right stuff are the best and the 55 is, is just so good for stacking if you can afford it. As I mentioned I've used the Markins Q3 ball heads. I have a bunch of them and I like them because they're inexpensive and, and, and lightweight but they don't compare to the really right stuff heads so I no longer suggest that size head. Now if you're going to go to heaven with the tripod head the best tripod head that I have for focus stacking is the Swiss Arca Cube C1 geared head. It's not a ball head, but it's a rather a head that looks a little bit like a Chinese puzzle. It's all geared. You have to gear it this way and that way. You can lean this way and that way. It, it's, a, it's of no use whatsoever if you are shooting fast moving critters and have to constantly quickly reposition your head. Uh, that, that would be, you would need a ball head. But if what you have is still life, like a flower, there's no better, there's no more sturdier head available that I know of. Unfortunately, it costs about 1700 bucks, But um, it's just perfectly stable. It's worth every penny. I, I love it. L brackets. These, these are one of the things you just have to have. L, L bracket is a quick release L bracket in with with the base that's Arca style, so go into an Arca style quick release clamp. This allows you to switch your camera between horizontal and vertical portrait mode. And um, there's just no way around having one. You've got to be able, I do most of my photography in vertical mode and portrait mode. I'm not such a big horizontal one, but I'm becoming more horizontally oriented, not just because I'm older, but because I'm doing more and more uh, B-roll kind of pictures for for video video wants to be sideways so an L bracket is a plate that you attach to the base and side of your camera that allows the camera to be rotated 90 degrees from vertical to horizontal and back again in a few seconds I consider these essential for macro work because switching back and forth between the vertical and horizontal view it happens all the time and the mere idea of putting of screwing and unscrewing the camera to a tripod, you run the risk of stripping those screws in the base of the camera, and that would just cost you a lot of money. So an L bracket's an important accessory. You can get them from Really Right Stuff 
or from Kirk Enterprises. Both both work well. I have some from both. And just a little bit more about quick release clamps. No doubt these are one of the most valuable and important accessories you can have. Um, it not only saves ruining the threads on your camera or whatever, but it saves time allowing shots to be taken that otherwise would be totally lost trying to screw one thing into another. Um, and I think I said this before, but I'm going to repeat it. There are all kinds of quick release styles, but there's only one that I would consider, and, the, and it's the one that all the really good photographers that I've met use. And that's the, you know, it's a Swiss Arca standard, but it's, it's using a knob clamp rather than a quick release uh, lever clamp. The lever clamps, you cannot trust them, even though mostly they work. Um, so don't ever buy the quick release lever clamps. You know, they can fail and they can be caught on your shirt cuff and accidentally just fly open. And and then, geez, there's nothing you can do about it. So that's, uh, those are my thoughts about clamps. <laughs>